everybody and welcome to another edition of The Cook Up. I am your host Sunny Blank and today I have with me Chef Gabby. Oh, but she goes by another name online and she's going to tell us. Welcome to the program. How are you doing? Hi Sunny, thank you so much for having me here. Well, it's a pleasure to actually work alongside you. I've been looking at so much of your work online. Tell us a little bit about your work. So during the pandemic in 2020, I started my Instagram page called Balance Bits with Gabs, where I share nutrition tips and healthy twists on recipes. All right, and today we're going to be making some kind of dish using mango, and we know yes. Kessawa Big Tune these yeah, days yeah, talk yeah. about how the mango sweet. <laughs> so it's really, really nice to actually get into this dish. Tell us about it. So today we're making mango crumble bars. You can have it as a dessert or even as a healthy snack. Mm -mm -mm. And of course, our main ingredient because you know it's CJ Caribbean, we're rocking with. Yes. We're using today our Simply Natural 100% Coconut Oil. And this is something that you're accustomed working with. Of course, so let me tell you a little story. Ever since I started baking, it was a tragedy. Until I started using this, this was the missing ingredient, I'm telling you. Wow. How is that? Because because to me, you know, growing up, you would hear coconut oil, people use it in the hair, they use it for lots of different things now. Right. But not necessarily in like, like a dessert type right. item. How did you happen to make this happen? So. The Simply Natural Coconut Oil really adds some moisture and it doesn't overpower the other ingredients. So it's really a great oil to work with, especially in baking for me. All right, and the mango that we're using today, because you know in TNT we have a whole heap of mangoes right. to choose from. <laughs> yes. What type of mango are we using today? So today I'm using Julie Mango, but you can use whichever fruit or whichever mango you have. You see, we have some starch here as well, so you can use that as okay, well. Okay, okay, okay. I've seen some fresh oats as well. Tell us about the ingredients that we've seen here too. So besides the oats, we also have oil purpose flour but if you're using gluten-free you can use gluten-free flour more almond flour not really coconut flour we also have brown sugar another local ingredients we have some limes we have salt cornstarch cinnamon and nutmeg all right now i want to ask you about the nutritional value of all of this because okay. this is you're saying we this is some kind of dessert you're talking sweetness yeah, you're talking yeah. mangoes <laughs> you know what i mean Tell me where's the nutritional value in all of this and how you actually combine the two. Because for me, when I'm in the kitchen, I couldn't really be too much bothered about the yeah, nutritional yeah, value. I'm going know. all for flavor. So the first things first, I want to debunk that myth that healthy does not have to mean it doesn't taste good, right? Because you see here, we have a wide variety of ingredients. Okay. So really the mango, this is where you get your vitamin C. I know a lot of people talking about vitamin C these days with the current situation, we're right. In, right? We also get a lot of fiber from the oats and I'm using rolled oats as well, which is really important. So you mm. get a lot of fiber and vitamin B's from there. The lime will also give us vitamin C and of course, coconut oil has several benefits, especially for your heart as well. Ooh. So you see, yeah, yeah, I like the way you put that. You make it you make it sound so different. This is the way I need to speak to people when I have my desserts and these things. No, it's yeah. not just what you think it is. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm going to say rolled oats, yeah. different. Tell me what the difference. So the rolled oats, they are more compact compared to the instant oats where they are broken down. And if for this recipe, we're using rolled oats because we don't want it to soak up too much of the oil compared to instant oats that would get a little too mushy for us. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you know what? Let's get straight into prep time. Let's get the show on the road, all right? This is the cook-up, and of course, Remember, you can check us out on Facebook at CGA Caribbean on Instagram. We're brand new on TikTok as well. And you can also send us an email, cgacaribbean.com. All right, so let's get straight into our cooking right away. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is make our mango filling. So you see these lovely pieces of mangoes that we have here? Right. So I'm just going to place that straight into the bowl. This is about three Julie mangoes, which came up to about two cups. Okay. So what I would like you to do for me is just squeeze some lime juice, one half of lime in here, right there. So this will just give it an extra And how we dance so many seeds though? How we dance so many Try seeds though? Try to catch them in your hand. Try to catch them in <laughs> my hand, please. please. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm not too good at this. You know what I'm gonna do? A new style. I don't know if you ever thought about this. All right. Use a grater. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You learn something new every day. Every <laughs> single day in the kitchen, we need to know to invent sometimes. All right, all right. You know what I mean? Oh my goodness, that was a lot of seeds. Ooh. Yep. So the lime will just give it a nice citrusy flavor in contrast to the mango. Right. Nice. Right. Good Thank you so much. Most and welcome. I'm also going to be adding some cornstarch. So I'm adding two tablespoons of cornstarch in here. So this is what it's going to thicken up this mango filling. So it'll be like a jam-like consistency. Okay. Okay. Right? So I'm just okay. Gonna add that How to long me. have you been in this whole nutritional value type of life? How long have you been wow. doing this? Since I was in the kitchen right next to my great aunt. Wow. <laughs> Since a little kid. Okay. 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 But yes, I graduated from UE with nutritional sciences, my BSc in nutritional sciences in 2018. So Very good. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Nice, man. So what do we add next to this? So so 
it was just the corn starch, lime juice, and mango. It's really that simple. I'm just gonna mix it around, and I'm actually gonna place this in the fridge so we could use it later. Okay. So okay. when you come back, you'll see how thick and jam like it will be. Fantastic. All right, so our mango is in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Where do we go next, chef? So the next step is to make the crust, the crumble topping, right? Mm -hmm. So Sunny, can you pass me the bowl in the back as okay. well as the measuring cup, please? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Talk you. to me. Right. So the first thing we're going to do, remember, we talked about the oats earlier. Mm -hmm. you remember what, what this provides for us? Yeah, it provides nutrition. Correct. Fiber, but you're close enough. Um, I knew that. I was just testing you to see if you were paying attention. Right. Come on. Yeah. So here I have one and a half cup cups of oats, rolled oats, right? Mm -hmm. The next ingredients will be one cup of all-purpose flour. Mm -hmm. So this just adds some structure to our crust. All-purpose flour. All we have the oats. Flour, mm -hmm. Right. So this will be quarter cup of brown sugar. So you add a little sweetness in there. Okay. Okay. Right? So now it's just time to add a little extra flavor because I mean we're in the Caribbean, we love flavor here. Very much so. So here I have one teaspoon of cinnamon, ground cinnamon and ground clove. So I just throw this in there. Cinnamon and clove. I hope you guys paying attention and of course remember follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok to get some more of that information, some updates on some nice quick menus and recipes. Today we're doing a different nutritionally balanced guys. <laughs> So remember how you use the zester for the lime, right? Mm -hmm. So now we're going to use the zester for some nutmeg. So you see the zester is right there. All right, all right. I'm just going to grate about half a teaspoon in here. Fresh nutmeg. Now for those of you who are tuning in and maybe confused when you heard zester, it's, it's actually a grater. It's like a baby grater. All right, but AKA zester. <laughs> so the last thing I'm going to add just to that extra citrusy pop, just zesting one lime, right? Now we don't need the juice for this part. So you get it all there. And you also see those green specks contrasting mm -hmm. with everything. <laughs> right, so you see how everything is kind of looking a little dry, you know, nothing really combining. This is where the Simply Natural Coconut Oil comes in. Okay. Right, so can you pour it for me? I'm using half cup of the Simply Natural Coconut Oil. Nice. All right. All right, thank you. All right. So here, I'm mixing everything together and I'm just gonna pour it inside. And you see immediately how everything starts soaking up that Correct. oil. Right away. Right. Might need a little bit extra oil. Okay. I'm on it, I'm on it. So you really want all the dry ingredients to be fully combined with everything. Chris mm. Ajana, right. I like right, that. Right. <laughs> and I didn't really pull it right yeah, up last yeah, time. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I all know. about how you pour it too, eh? Yeah, yeah. I think it's all about how you pour it. I think you just kind of dropped it in the center, which was oh, wrong. Oh, okay. You didn't really give it the love now. Right, you right, You didn't right. spread the love now. I spread any love inside here yeah, now. Yeah, that's right. So you see how we're looking here. You see everything is well combined. And one of the ways to test that you know that the crust is ready is just if you pick up a little bit with your hand and you just squeeze it here, you see how everything is sticking together. So you know that this was enough oil and we're ready to go on to the next And basically step. this is it, right? This is something that the entire family can kind of do together. You have exactly. like some like children, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and they really, really want to help out in the kitchen. And it's something that's really safe. No kind of danger. I've not seen a knife just yet. The only no thing you would have really needed anything. a knife. Correct. No mm. stove top. So remember, check us out online, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, CGA Caribbean. Follow us for some more. And of course. Chef Gabby, you give them the tag, everybody. Balance fits with Gabs on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. All right, so where do we go from here? So here, we're, I'm going to place this in the baking tray, and we're almost ready to layer everything, push it in the oven, and it's time to eat. Oh, mm -hmm. I like the last part, time to eat. All right, Sunny, so the mango is ready, the crust is ready. You ready? Mm-hmm. I see how you're smiling. You That's me. I, I have such a big love for mangoes. Mm -hmm. It's a shame. I have four mango trees in my yard, you know. And you didn't bring any for me? No. Next time. Next time. Don't no. Next no, time. next time. Next time. <laughs> next, next time. time. <laughs> All right. So Where do we go from here? Let's go. Right. So see the baking tray that I have here? Can you bring it a little closer for me, please? Okay. How much closer? It's closer. Like right here. Right. Closer. Right. Right. Or, or right here, in front closer. here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So you see I have parchment paper. So fun fact about me, I don't really like to wash dishes. So the less mess, the better for me. Fun fact about us, we don't really like to wash <laughs> dishes and I understand you oh so well. Right, so here's where the parchment paper comes in. So that's what I'm using to line the bread pan, right? So it'll be easy for cleaning purposes. So technically, you don't really need to use the parchment paper. No, you could always grease the pan and add flour after, but 
and New Zealand. Okay. <laughs> right? Okay, let's go. And also what happens is when it's finished baking, it's also very easy to lift out of the pan as okay, well. Okay, right? okay, okay, okay. If Wait. you don't have parchment paper, you can also use foil. Mm. Right? Okay, great. So the first thing that I'm going to do actually is our crust that we made, I'm going to place it at the base here and you'll see using the back of my spoon i'm just mashing everything so that it forms an even flat layer okay right so you can see all the oats and everything and the specks you can also use your handy dandy hands to do this okay so i think i'm gonna switch to my hands so it'll be a little better So just using my hands, I'm just pressing everything in and making sure that it's very compact inside. And you can make the layer as thin or as thick as you want it. Because I mean, it's your mango crumble, right? Eh? Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And this is a, some, something, as I said earlier on, is like really fun for the entire family. As you can see, it's very much hands-on. There's no need to be too concerned as to get the fingertips messy and whatnot. So you're actually pressing on your own layer. You're using some nice fresh fruit. Hopefully you could have uh, just gotten this in your backyard like myself. And um, you know, make it a nice fun experience, right? So let's continue. How are we looking here right all now? All right, so you see how we're looking? A nice mm -hmm. flat crust. Mm -hmm. Let me show my folks at home. Mm -hmm. Let me show the folks at home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A nice right, flat so we're crust. Looking good. So your favorite part is coming up. Now is where we're going to place the mango layer on top. Mm -hmm. So you can do. Is it like you're gonna put all of it at one time? So you can put as much as you like. Uh, I kind of like it in between. But okay, like so there's like a lasagna then. Yeah, so. it's kind of like a lasagna. Yeah, if you think that way. Okay, 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 okay. So what right. do I do? Do I hold the bowl? Do I pour it yeah, out? Yeah, you could pour it. You could hold the bowl, and I'll gently take it out. So you wanna really cover all the cracks and crevices. Mm -hmm. And you see how thick the mango layer got, right? With just that lime juice and cornstarch mm. sitting in the fridge so let me just see how this is watch out. i don't know if you guys could smell this thing back home or maybe you live in somewhere international that you haven't seen mango in a long time but i know you can still get that smell just looking at this bowl here right now fresh julie mango you know what that does to me <laughs> i don't know what it does to you but i know what it does to me all right mm -hmm. so you just need a little bit mm -hmm. more a little more yes, mm -hmm. there we go in the corner right you know what I mean? And you know, you know what's really fun about this? Because it's kind of encouraging children to, to enjoy the fruits, fruits and all this exactly. goodness. And as, and as much fun as I had as a child growing up making a cake with my mother, I am having as much fun right now. It makes me feel like, you know, like just getting a spoon and snatching some of this Julie Mango when nobody else. No, that, that's, no. That's what it is. Th that's what I mean. Is that, is that good? All right. So, of course, folks, it's episode four, the cook up right here. All courtesy of the good folks at CGA. Follow us online, CGA Caribbean on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. We're brand new to TikTok as well. So, check us out on TikTok. We're going to have some nice challenges. Maybe you can um, do a little remix to some of what we're doing here right now and show us your version of what you can do with this goodness. Where are we going from here, my dear? Right. So, you see, I didn't use all the crust from before. So, this is where the crumble part is coming in. So, the remainder of crust that we made from the beginning is going to be used as the topping yeah so i'm just gonna do the topping just sprinkling it on top so the crumble is actually just the way we put it together exactly, the end and all that yes you can do maybe put a little more elbow oh, in sorry, it sorry. put a little yeah, more elbow yeah, yeah raise the elbow up a bit oh, okay okay if the oats don't touch the, the, the elbow it didn't reach anywhere oh. yes that's it <laughs> if it don't fall on the counter you're not doing it right you, you, that's right, that's remember it. Remember I said I didn't like mess. No, but remember, that's why we had the kids having fun in this right, thing. You know, okay. they need to <laughs> put that drizzle in it. Come on, like make it rain, make it rain. Yeah, that's it, that's it. So next is to the oven. So we're going to bake this at 400 degrees for mm. 40 minutes. Mm. Mm. Or until the crust on top gets slightly golden brown. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. This is like a, like a Caribbean, a Caribbean apple pie. Yes! Mm -hmm. <laughs> So this is what it looks like, finally finished, doing the crumble on top, mm -hmm. and now it's straight to the oven. Wow. But things like dried cranberries exactly. yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff on top of this exactly. and whatnot. Okay, okay, okay. So even boost the nutrition even more. Nice. We remix the thing, man. Yes. That's what we're talking about. So let's go to the oven. Sure. All right. This is the cook up, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. I certainly am. CGACaribbean.com. Check us out online. CGACaribbean.com. Send us a message. Maybe on Facebook, Instagram, and as I said, TikTok. Link up. Mm-hmm. All right, Sunny, so it's finished baking. This is what our crumble is looking like. Wow, it smells amazing. Right, I know, right? So let me just 
take it out of the pan. Remember what I talked about with the parchment paper? Okay, that was quick and to the point. So let me just get into this one time, what do you say? Uh, not so quick. We actually have to allow this to cool first and then I'm going to cut into it into bars. So remember we talk about the nutritional aspect of this, oh, right? Oh, so we're going to do this thing in portions. Yes, portion control. I like how you're thinking. Uh, it's not really what I was thinking. It's what I kind of figured out because <laughs> one like me, um, I don't know how, how... I'll just tell you a true story real quick because mm -hmm. Christmas just ended, right? And I am that guy that if I have a, like, a, like a black cake or something, mm -hmm. I am going to slice my cake in quarters. I literally eat the cake in quarters. So if you didn't mention that whole... You would have just go and dig in one time. Thing, yeah. I might have been oh, the person who just break this and... Nice, that's fantastic. But you know what, folks? I know you guys have been tuning in and you're really enjoying the products that we're working with today. And if you really want to get your hands on some of the Simply Natural All Courtesy CGA, there are a couple of ways you can do that. And that would be at your friendly neighborhood grocery store, almost any grocery store nationwide, as well as cgacaribbean.com. Go online and check it out, of course, because you know nowadays everything is virtual. Everything is coming to your door in some kind of way. So cgacaribbean.com, check us out online. So thank you very much to our nutritionist, Gabby, give us some of your information once again. Sure, you can follow me at Balance Bits with Gabs on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. All right, and of course, you can follow us <laughs> at cgacaribbean.com or cgacaribbean on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And of course, me, Sunny Bling, same forum. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, you know, link up. So this is your piece here. Nice. And we have our decorations this side. So you see we have two separate plates, so you can decorate yours how you like, and I'll decorate mine. Okay, 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 okay. So so what we actually using, so like what we're using right now for decorations right here, All what right, we have here. So we have some powdered sugar, we have some mint leaves, and of course fresh mango. I can see somebody adding pancakes syrup to this. Something like <laughs> myself, I'm just saying maple syrup. I can see myself doing that too. I can see myself adding jam to this. I can see myself putting some cranberries on this, maybe, maybe even some fresh some, fruit with this. Some um, nuts. Mm, maybe some, some, some nuts, um, almonds. Coconut. Mm -hmm. Co coconut, grated coconut. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We're getting expensive and fancy <laughs> up in here. But we're keeping it local as well. And of course, folks, we did it all today using our Simply Natural 100% coconut oil available with CGA Caribbean. So we're going to garnish or no? Of course, yes. So is it like a competition or something? Or I is mean, it like a... if you want to compete with me, then sure. I, I, let me see where you're going first. Okay, she, she went for the, for, the, for the scepter. There she goes. Mm -hmm. She has some going on. Little, um... mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's okay. Oh. That's fine. Mm -hmm. We'll mm -hmm. make it work. It's fine. Mm -hmm. We'll make it work. It's fine. Let me see where she goes next. Let me see where she goes next. I'm not so, trying to crowd your space too much. With all that white, we need some yellow back in there. Okay. Okay. Look what she does. Oh, right. wow. And we need some height, of course. Mm -hmm. right. Some height. She's yeah. saying some height. Mm -hmm. Right. And just to top it off, you know, I got a little, a little fancy a little mint leaf. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, bang. So, you know what I mean? Just kind of copying off of what you did. I'm going to do like the real version of the thing now. I'm going to that culinary management. Mm -hmm. That ba, 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 ba. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm going to make you some height. I'm going to show you that effort. You get down mm -hmm. on it. Uh, mm -hmm, you, mm -hmm, look, you mm -hmm. look. Mm -hmm. Talk about height. Call that Michael Jordan. I'm going to pull some on the plate. Okay. Mm hmm. Because remember, you're going to want to try this at the side, too. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. Mm-hmm. And then here we going to do. Right. We're going to draw for some of that mint, mint. Mint, mint. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know that mint, mint strong, so you don't want too much on top of it. You're going to put that on the side. All right. Okay, you're going to get, oh, my God. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. And then you're going to come back in here now. Uh-huh. And you know, now, now here what you're going to do. What are we going to do? You're going to get for the nibs, baby. You're going to go for the <laughs> nips. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me mm -hmm. see. Let me see. Let mm -hmm. me see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's all about the way you lay that baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I ain't done yet. <laughs> That's what? Mm -mm. It's snowing slightly, baby. Oh, God. Look at a, little, a little, a little thing. Okay, okay. All, right. all right. All right. You're showing off now. That's it right there. That's what you call. Presentation!
Okay, here we have a mango crumble bars. Sunny's version and mine. The version <laughs> and hers. <laughs> Okay, this is CJ Caribbean, everybody. Another fantastic edition of the Cook Up, episode 4 to be exact. Your truly sunny bling balance bit with Gabs right here. CJ Caribbean, episode 4 of the Cook Up. Simply natural, 100% cooking oil, making it all possible here today. Who would ever think that a fantastic looking dessert like this, full of nutrition, full of flavor, full of excitement, would have been made with 100% coconut oil, as all courtesy. Gabs, if she didn't bring this forward here today, I don't know what I would have been doing tomorrow. But I'm <laughs> going to be doing this from now on. Hello. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. All right, Balanced Bits with Gabs. Check her out online. And of course, yours truly, Sunny Bling. I need to get my hands on some of this. I, just, I think I'm just going to like use oh, my spoon okay. right here. Okay, no and I think what I'm going to do is maybe like leave my own here in case anyone wants to see what a real <laughs> version looks like. And I'm just kind of going to... You know, I catch, I call that shade. <laughs> nah, I, I wouldn't call it shade. I'll just say, you know, mm, oh my goodness, look at this. Y'all seeing this? Y'all seeing the inside of this? Mm, look at that. And the crumble, you're feeling the crunch on the spoon. It have that kind of, you know, that kind of pone kind of vibe. Yeah, and, yeah, mm, yeah. I love the, the little sugars and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Here comes the train, baby. <laughs> hmm. 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 Yep. I will take one more bite of yours, but I'll leave it in my plate. So what? So, uh, no, what I'm saying, you the, you the chef, you could make more of this thing. Be yourself oh, now. Oh, oh, oh. I'll see you on another episode of the cook-up. <laughs>